So I know that as a Brit, I probably have no right teaching you guys how to make fried chicken. I mean, everybody in the South's grandmother makes the best fried chicken, and it's all different recipes. Um, a lot of people use MSG. That goes in the garbage. I don't think we need it. I start with flour. And again, you can do whatever you want. I mean, it really doesn't matter what goes in as long as you like it. Your grandmother's recipe is probably the best and you're going to use it the rest of your life and that's absolutely fantastic. I like to use a whole bunch of different things. This is granulated garlic, so I'm going to put a bit of that in. And again, it's not exact measurements. I mean, if it doesn't need to be precise because it's just the flour on the outside of the chicken. It's the chicken that matters. Um, I'm going to put some black pepper in too much. I've got some chili powder here and I'm just going to put a tad in there. I have some sco scotch bonnet pepper. You know for a Brit who likes bland food I, I kind of like spicy food um, and I think chicken needs to have a bit of a kick to it um, to make it nice. I like sage. If you put too much in it it tastes medicinal but like a teaspoon is good. And of course some celery salt. You know, celery salt gives it a great flavour and gives it the salt as well. So I put a couple of teaspoons of that in. Again, you don't want to taste this, but you have to. I mean, you, when you're cooking, you've got to feel the food. You've got to taste it, you've got to feel it. And, you know, if there's not enough salt in it, you've got to add salt. And that is in fact why I haven't put salt in yet, because uh, I don't know how much it's going to take. And if you swear by MSG, I do apologise. I just, uh, it's a natural product. It's just, uh, I don't think it makes any difference than salt, to be quite honest. And again, there's probably people screaming at the computer screen saying how wrong I am, and I accept that. This isn't something I grew up with, but this is something I grew to love. That tastes like a good chicken coating now. You don't want it too salty, you don't want it too bland. You just want it, that's perfect. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. The chicken is, is gonna be marinated in uh, buttermilk, rosemary and garlic, so that has some more flavor on its own. The coating is the crispiness, it's not to overpower. If you put too much of any one flavor in, it will kill the flavor of the chicken, that's the last thing you need. And now, just to really be controversial, my last secret ingredient is baking powder. It gives the chicken a little bit of lift again. It makes it, the batter just a little bit puffier. So it's crispy, but it's got some density, it's got density and crispiness to it, but it's got a little bit of air in there as well. It's not too heavy. I actually learned this recipe from a very, very, very talented American chef. Colleen McQuirk, and I'm indebted to her for this. But you can please yourself. If you like oregano, use oregano. If you like thyme, use thyme. Um, it doesn't really matter, because it is, it's an important part of the dish, but it's not the most important part of the dish. And that is the same flour as we're going to use for the chicken fried steak and the fried chicken.